Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. We just get down to business on this channel. We don't have time for all the fluff and all the extra. The episode is called Fortune's Fool, but if I could rename it, Fools, Fools, and More Fools. <laughs> All right, let's just get into this recap. This is winter's photo shoot day and Chantel is feeling very disconnected after seeing a picture of Pedro with Karima and it made her realize that she trusted Pedro entirely too much, thinking he was the, the picture of perfection when he really wasn't. Chantel really wanted a perfect marriage, but of course, as we all know, things did not turn out that way. Chantel asked Karen what she planned on doing in New York. And we already know, Karen's planning on meeting with Alejandro. Chantel says, girl, don't, do you have anything better to do in New York than meet up with him? Karen is insistent that this will give her closure. Karen, again, I don't think this is the best way to give Chantel closure. Chantel says she will have no parts of it. She doesn't, she definitely will not be going with Winter and Karen to meet Alejandro, but instead she's going to go on a blind date and try to move on from Pedro's actions. She says that Pedro's moving on. She's over here sitting on the sidelines and you know what? Why can't she move on? And that's why she's gonna go on this blind date. So Chantel, one of her friends, and I put that friend in quotations because are you really a friend? Are you really a friend? Anyway, Chantel's friend arranged a blind date for her in New York. And despite Chantel's initial hesitation, she chose not to let Pedro's actions hold her back and embrace the opportunity for a new beginning. So she's gonna go on that date. Lydia, who if you don't know by now and watching all of my recaps, Lydia is Nicole and Pedro's mama. So she's coming home the next morning after spending the night with Scott. Ew, girl, please. Ain't no, ain't no coochie yearning Were You know what, let me shut up. Anyway, <laughs> um, Anyway, Lydia comes home after spending the night with Scott. It causes tension between Pedro, Nicole, and her. Pedro, feeling like the parent, questions Lydia's behavior. I never seen my mom do that behavior before, like go spend the night out, you know, I don't know what's going on. Nicole criticizes her for being naive and compares Scott unfavorably to their father, Jose. Well, Pedro Jose, I believe his name is. Okay, so Nicole questions Scott's intentions, pointing out that he flaunts his material possessions, but he lacks genuine actions of love. And Pedro emphasizes the importance of someone proving their intentions early in a relationship, referring to the advice that Lydia herself gave to them. Nicole confronts Lydia about her decision to give Scott a second chance. <laughs> she basically says that because her mom hasn't been with someone in so long, she's just pretty much just desperate. She just take the first Joe Schmo that comes along, okay? And unfortunately, that Joe Schmo was freaking Scott. Lydia says that it's been a long time since she's been with a man. She hopes Scott can change. Pedro and Nicole remain skeptical, expressing their concern for their mom's well-being. And they just don't believe that Scott's a good guy, okay? They believe he's full of crap, and so do I. So Pedro, empathizing with his mom's past struggles, expresses reluctance to let Scott hurt her again. And he decides to meet Scott personally to gauge his intentions and ensure that his mom is really gonna be happy with this fool. So Chantel gears up for her blind date. I'm going on this blind date. I want a guy who's tall, handsome, someone who's the entire package. And hopefully he comes with a nice package as well. And she's hoping to avoid the pitfalls of her past relationship with Pedro. So her friend's matchmaking skills, however, need work. This is my word, it's okay. Cause I know y'all did not look at this man and say, oh, he is perfect for Chantel. Like he doesn't look anything like what her type is. Um, Chantel, girl, you need more friends or you need new friends. Chantel meets her date and her first impression of him is that he's a macho man. I'm not gonna sing. I'm not gonna sing the village people. I'm resisting, I want to though, but I won't. Chantel lets us know that she finds him way too similar to Pedro and she continues and ends the day. She says that he was a nice guy. He just wasn't for her. So now we're back in the DR. Nicole, Pedro and Lydia head to confront Scott or rather meet up with Scott. For Pedro, it's more of a confrontation and Nicole, they just care about their mama. That's all. Pedro, having heard bad things about Scott, wants to investigate himself. Nicole looks really cute, guys. He looks so pretty in her outfit. But girl, that was a struggle ponytail if I ever saw one, and I'm really sorry. But anyway, in a face-off with Scott, Pedro bluntly states his purpose and says, you know, I, I'm not 
not here for you, Scott. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just I just want to be clear. I'm not here for you. I'm I'm strictly here for my mama. He says basically I want to know the deal. Like what happened with you the last time you were here? So Scott dives into his complicated history and it was very complicated and confusing, okay? Especially though, more importantly, with the ex-girlfriend from Colombia. So basically, he met the ex-girlfriend on social media. They hadn't spoken for over a year and a half. Then they wanted to meet up. And what do you know? What a coinky dink. They decided to meet up at the same hotel where he met up with freaking Lydia. Isn't that a coincidence, guys? Anyway, Scott, you're gross. So the situation escalates when Nicole accuses Scott of basically having sex with the ex in the same hotel. Nicole gets so angry. She ends up tossing water at Scott, but it gets all over Lydia. You wet your mama up. That was sad to see. Now we're here with Karen and she shares that Pedro and Alejandro became enemies due to a street fight a couple years ago. She suspects that Alejandro might have juicy details about the family drama and scamming. She's here waiting with Winter in a cafe. And uh, after 30 minutes, she's wondering where the hell he, you know, where is he? Because he's not coming. And by the way, uh, just to skip the point, um, skip to the point, he never came. He spoke to Nicole and decided not to come. Left a message through the private investigator that, yeah, he's not coming. So Pedro, Nicole, and Lydia are in the car on the way home, and Pedro expresses his doubt about Scott's intentions. He believes that Scott made Lydia his second choice, and Nicole says she basically agrees, okay? Pedro argues that Scott is manipulating their mom. Nicole feels the same way. Lydia decides to assert her independence, and she says, look, I'm giving them a chance. And she even admitted that they were intimate. So she lied. She, all this time, she was saying they didn't do anything, and they did. Duh, I mean, you're coming home the next morning. You did something, obviously, okay? Pedro warns his mom about Scott's true intentions, but despite family disapproval, Lydia is her own woman. She's going to do what she wants. And, you know, she hopes that Scott can change and bring positive qualities to her life. So now Chantel's here and she's sharing with Winter her dating experience, saying that the man gave off Pedro vibes and she wants completely opposite of Pedro, as we know. Chantel feels the need to close the chapter on her divorce and she expresses the desire to build a family and create lasting memories. However, she worries about the time that it might take to find the right person after her past with Pedro. So Karen informs Chantel that Alejandro never showed up. She discovered that he's been in touch with Nicole and... Chantel is trying to figure out what closure means to her and healing in her own way. So after last night's dinner, Lydia insists on giving Scott another chance despite Pedro and Nicole's skepticism. Pedro claims Scott is shady and reveals that Nicole's friends captured video evidence of Scott with several different women at the hotel passing out phone numbers. Convinced of Scott's questionable actions, Pedro confronts Scott at the gym. Scott's over there thinking they're just going to get down on the floor and do push-ups. <laughs> the situation escalates as Scott threatens Pedro because he's like, you know, you look like you're trying to one-up me. You're trying to fight me. He pushes Pedro. The producers fake intervene because it's always fake on these reality shows. Anyway, and Pedro, after they calm down a bit, which I don't know how the hell they calm down after that, shows Scott the incriminating video prompting Scott to give some type of explanation of, oh, I, I talked to everybody, whatever. So despite the temporary calm, Pedro warns Scott to leave the country before things get worse. While Scott, to us, in the confessional says, I'm out of spite. I'll have sex with her, with her mother as much as I want. They're going to know about it too. And Scott, you're disgusting. You are literally the devil. You are literally a demon in human form. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.